A client was asking me if I'd ever heard of pennies killing a dog, like a dog swallowing pennies. And I, I told him flat out, no, I've never heard of that. You know, and he had been told this by a, a dog trainer that he was using. I, I really, I'd never heard of that, but I have been adamant about people not training their dogs to pick up, their service dogs to pick up change because the dog can swallow the change, right? And it caused problems. You don't want the dog picking up change. And why would you want your dog to do that anyway? If you have a disability where you can't pick up change, use a debit card. See what I'm saying? Putting small thing, having the dog pick up small objects, you're running the risk of the dog swallowing it, you know, creating pick up. Don't do that. But yes, there is validity to this. And when he first said it, I was like, well, uh, pennies are copper. And then as I was driving away, I was thinking, no, pennies aren't copper anymore. They're zinc. And I remember when I was in the military, I, um, I was a uh, trained like a metal worker, pipe fitter, you know, and I had to go to school for all this shit. And I remember distinctly that we were catching fish out on the fantail croakers and we wanted to cook them. And we were going to cook them on a plate of zinc. And I remember thinking, we can't cook them on the zinc because zinc's toxic. You know, I distinctly remember that. I remember that in class that them saying that, that like zinc, you, you got to use ventilation and stuff if you're working with it. Zinc is toxic to dogs. It's toxic to humans. If your dog swallows a penny, it would be... A lot of the problem might have to do with the size of the dog. Keep in mind, I'm not a vet. I just worked as a vet tech. It would be like Ike is a 100-pound Labrador. He could swallow the penny probably and get away with it and probably be okay, probably. But I would be taking him to the vet right away. If a Chihuahua swallowed a penny, it might be a problem because, you know, there's mass involved. There's less mass. See what I'm saying? There would be a lot of stuff that be contributing factors to how your dog handles the zinc toxicity, meaning did the dog throw it up 45 minutes later? See what I'm saying? The size of the dog, but zinc is toxic and zinc, I checked, is in all our pennies past 1982. Before that, they're copper. Copper wouldn't hurt the dog. Zinc would. So don't let your dog eat. It, don't train your dog to pick up coins. If you're a service dog trainer and you're training your dog to pick up coins, why are you doing that? This is more about you showing off or something. There's no need to train your dog to train any dog to pick up change. And a penny? I don't even want them. I don't even want nickels. You know, I'll save a dime and a quarter. See what I'm saying? Don't Train your dog to pick up change, and if your dog eats a penny, take it to the doctor. Because if it's before 1980, if it's after 1982, it could be a huge problem. Your dog can die.